हेलो मेरीनर्स होप यू गाइज आर डूइंग वेल सो वेल इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अ पी वी वेल्व एंड अ पी वी ब्रेकर द मेन डिफरेंस बिटवीन अ पी वी ब्रेकर एंड अ पी वी वेल्व वी विल हैव अ डिस्कशन एंड ऑल्सो अबाउट इट्स ऑपरेटिंग ऑपरेशन इट्स प्रिंसिपल हाउ डज इट वर्क आई विल शो यू बाई अ ड्रामेटिकल विथ अ डायग्राम एंड आई विल ट्राई टू मेक very simple and very simple concept to you guys that you can understand so well what is a pv breaker and pv valve so it's the same thing so let's have a what does pv stands for so p p stands for pressure and v v stands for a vacuum so pv valve is fitted for each and every tank whereas the pv breaker is fitted only there is only one pv valve on one tanker so pv valve is fitted throughout the line that is iz line it is fitted in the iz line only and whereas pv valve is fitted for each tank so whenever the pressure of the tank is very low as compared to the outside pressure then the vacuum side will activated and the outside air is sucked and it's drawn to that particular tank and uh, limitation and uh, some limits are stated every every uh, means on uh, every type of tankers there there is a limit set for pv valve and there is a other limit for the pv breaker so we will also deal about it and wherever the inside tank temperature uh, sorry pressure is much higher as compared to the atmosphere pressure at that time the pressure side will be activated and the excessive pressure is come out through that vacuum side so please be till end to clear your simple understand this what is the p value and so so i am now we will have a discussion i will show you how it's work so well hello mariners so <clears throat> this is how a pv valves look like so here is a lever and when one the ccr that is caro control room from where we observed that the pressure of this and this this line is directly connected to a each tank and for each tank there is a separate pv valve so this lever is used whenever in the ccr we see that the tank's pressure is high we simply lift this this lever and these things will lift up automatically by with the help of this lever and the excess pressure of the tank is released out and from this is the vacuum side lever we need to push it from this down button and it will lift it up and the air from the outside sucked into the tank i will show you the operation how it's work so well mariners as this is a simple block diagram for where you might be able to see that how it's work so two cargo tank means whenever the Uh, pressure of a cargo tanks becomes much low then this vacuum side lifted lifted up and this entire things is the air from the outside is drawn to inside the tank and from the cargo tank means whenever there the excessive pressure in the cargo tanks it just comes out through this line and this valve lifted up and the entire excessive pressure goes out from the tank hope this pv valves things is clear to you guys if you still end out feel free to comment uh, so mariners uh, this is how a pv breaker looks like so this is a pv breaker and this is a iz line and it is this iz line the iz line is directed connected connected to the valve uh, sorry to the breaker it is named as a pv breaker i will show you the operation principle how does it work so this is let's i will show you the working principle how does it work so here it is a this is a gauge glass from here we used to measure the content how how much the how much there is a water in the tank uh, i mean to say in the pv breaker this is a this is a water content it is not it is not a pure water it is a water mixed with a glycerin so let's discuss with so this is the area where i had shown you that this is connected to the ig main line now whenever there is a excessive pressure in the tanks and the pv valves is not able to cope up at that time the 
excessive pressure comes into the IG line and through the IG line it comes to this and it will push it comes here and it will push this all water and this entire water comes from this this area that is upper area so this system is now also known as the vomiting vomiting of a PV breaker there is a terminology used on a board and it is one of the most thing uh, most important terminology most of the surveyor they used to ask that is what is mean by vomiting of a PV breaker so vomiting of a PV breaker means excessive pressure in the tank and PV valve is not able to cop up at that time the water which comes out from the the mixture the mixture which comes out from the PV breaker is known as the vomiting and the other terminology is inhaling inhaling means at that time what it happens there is no 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 chance means inside the time where the the pressure of the tank becomes so low that even at that time also the PV breaker the PV valve is not able to cope up at that time it's drawn it's take the air from here and it goes to the tank like this and it goes to the tank at that time it is inhaling and this is a vomiting so this is a demister it's not a demister it's a flame arrester so flame arrester is installed here because uh, you know to just avoid a explosion on the tanker because flame arrester it stops any spark uh, to go through in or any spark to come out means just just to prevent the explosion hope guys it's clear to you and if you really like this video and you have really think that you have you had gained something through this video you had increased your knowledge so please give the thumbs up and share with your friends thank you and jai hind